Over the past decade, Cadillac has rebranded itself with a renewed focus on design, but in particular on performance, especially with cars like the 556 horsepower CTS-V. But now with the launch of this, the XTS, Cadillac is back in the large luxury game, but with a modern twist. Now that twist isn't just a progressive new look and a modern interior, it's a massive leap forward in technology from everything to performance and comfort to safety and especially when it comes to in-car electronics. Where this new high-tech approach is most obvious is in the interior of the car, which when tricked out like it is on this $60,000 Platinum model is very impressive. Everything in here is coated in leather, from the dash top to even the back of the seats, meaning that if you're sitting in the back seat, you're still looking at a beautiful leather coated surface. Uh, in terms of other beautiful surfaces in here, you've got some nice wood stuff I actually don't hate, a first for a modern era GM product. Uh, there's this nice piano black accenting, uh, modern brushed aluminum trim, and even a really sexy Alcantara headliner that runs over the whole car. Turn on the car and you'll be shocked. For starters, there's a beautiful gauge display. Uh, it's not conventional, it's actually a 12.3 inch digital screen. And you can choose numerous different layouts for it, including a really cool performance layout that brings up a great big tachometer and brings sort of all the performance data to the front. Next is Cadillac's Q infotainment screen, which is right here in the center of the dash. It looks really high tech with a lot of great displays and graphics, and it's actually easy to use, operating a lot like an iPad with a lot of familiar touches, uh, like swiping across to go to different areas, and you can even pinch to zoom in on the nav screen. And speaking of iPads, Cadillac will actually give you one when you buy an XTS, preloaded with a lot of software that'll help you get used to using the Q system. It also features haptic feedback and what that means is that when you touch the screen it actually vibrates where you touch it and you feel it a little bit which is very cool although we have to admit it is a little delayed in its response time and the sound of the vibration is a little cheap and yet another unique feature is that after about 20 seconds the icons on the screen actually disappear now if you do want to do something you just reach your hand forward and they magically appear on the screen just before your hand gets there there's plenty of technology once you get out on the road as well. Not only does the car feature an air ride suspension in the rear, it actually has magnetic shock absorbers as well, which uh, Cadillac insists are the fastest reacting shocks on the market. And if you want, just drop the car into a manual operating mode so you can use the paddle shifters uh, and the shocks stiffen up to their maximum amount as well. As for how the XTS drives, it is quiet and relaxed, which is what you'd expect from a large Cadillac. Now, one thing I am thankful for that's low tech on this vehicle is the hydraulic steering system. It's not one of those new electric systems and uh, as a result, there are no dead spots and it's not numb anywhere either, which is nice. So you still need to put quite a lot of steering into it, uh, which is you know what you'd expect on a large vehicle of this sort. I should point out that front wheel drive is standard, although there is an optional all wheel drive system and that comes with an electronic limited slip differential in the rear, which uh, really helps the car get around the corners. Uh, and driving this car on Mulholland Drive here in California, it really will hustle around those corners a lot better than you might expect for its size. In terms of safety technology, there is a lane departure and blind spot warning system. But what's unique about it, however, is that rather than having some flashing lights or some loud annoying buzzards, it actually vibrates your seat to let you know. So if there's something approaching on the right side of the vehicle or you start to sort of stray to the right outside of your lane, it will actually vibrate the right side of your seat and that actually alerts you to look in that direction and pay more attention, which is a very innovative feature, although a little bit strange at times. Unfortunately, if there is one aspect where the XTS is really missing, it's the engine. 
Now there is nothing wrong with the 3.6 liter V6 and it makes 306 horsepower, a perfectly adequate amount of power. It's just that with so much of this car being so special, uh, the engine is really just a carryover from pretty much the rest of the Cadillac lineup and uh, it's just one area where uh, this car could be sort of next level if it had a great performance engine as well. Whether you're driving it, riding in the back seat, or just watching it go past, it's undeniable that the XTS is a very large car. In fact, even these 20 inch wheels don't look all that big. And as one Cadillac rep told us, it even comes with a New Jersey sized trunk with 18 cubic feet of space back there. And those factors are important because the XTS is all about delivering more. More size, but not necessarily for more money. As big as a 7 Series, it's priced more like a 5 Series and starts at about 45,000 bucks and tops out at just under 60K. Now, BMW buyers might not apply, but Cadillac is really hoping to attract the kind of people who would pick up an Audi A6 or a Mercedes E350. While lacking the badge bragging rights, the Cadillac XTS offers the brand's large luxury DNA. Paired with technology, its rivals simply can't match.